Today I'm going to be uh, carrying on with the maths for A-level geography and we're going to be looking at standard deviation. So standard deviation is simply how far the data is from a mean value. In this picture here, we're looking at people's height and I have labelled the person that is the mean height of this group of people. Um, if we had a large standard deviation, then we would have lots of small and tall people and therefore it would be deviate, the, the data set would deviate quite a lot from that average height. But if more people were like this person at the end and they were a similar height, um, we had lots more of those people and not so many really extremes of small and tall, then the uh, data wouldn't deviate that much from that mean value. This is the formula for standard deviation. I'm going to try and show you steps that you can remember where you can learn how to do standard deviation without having to know the formula off by heart. So for all you people that struggle with formulas, it's just about knowing the step-by-step -step process, which means you can still get all the marks in the exam, but without having to necessarily memorize this formula. So to help you learn how to do the process of standard deviation, I'm going to use an example and we're going to use some real data. Uh, the, the background behind the data is it's about the Faroe Islands where it rains 70% of the year, about 260 days. Uh, what we're going to look at the data set is um, the average amount of days in a month that it doesn't rain. We're going to look at that, we're going to find out what the average is over the year and then we're going to look and see how much the data set deviates. So here is our data set for the amount of days it doesn't rain in the Faroe Islands. Um, we've got our months and our, and our number of days that it doesn't rain. And, and what we need to do is we need to find the mean. That's the, the average of the number of days it doesn't rain um, across the year. So what we need to do to do that is add up all the numbers in the data set. And then we're dividing by 12. We're dividing by 12 because that there is 12 um, bits of data. So we should get... Um, an average, a mean of six. So that's the amount of days on average it doesn't rain uh, per month is six. And then we're going to see um, how much it deviates from that figure. So we've now calculated the mean. We've taken the mean away from each data. So that means this second column is the dif difference from the mean. And what we then need to do with that, because we've got some minus figures in here, we need to square that difference from the mean. So if I again look at this top column here, I've taken away, I've got minus four, but what I need to do is minus four times minus four, and I'll get 16 here. Same below, um, I've got minus two when I took away the mean, minus two times minus two would get me four, uh, because the minus signs are obviously cancelling each other out. And again, keep going down the column and keep squaring each of them um, until you've completed the whole table. The next step is to add all those um, figures that we have in the uh, different squared column. Um, so I would add up all of these in that final column. Um, and if I add them all together, I get a total there of 72. But then what I have to do with that 72 is I need to divide it by the number uh, of pieces of data we have, the number of data points. So I need to count up how many pieces of data I've got. And because it's months in a year, I have 12. And so then it's 72 divided by 12 equals 6. The last stage is simply to square root that figure that we've got. And because we got the number 6 on our last page, when we square root that, we get a standard deviation of 2.4. So we can look at that standard deviation score on um, what we call a bell curve, which is the normal distribution. Um, so I've put the, the mean that's showing that that, that was that six days that it didn't um, rain. That was our mean. Um, and we got a score of 2.4 uh, in this standard deviation. What does that actually tell us? Well, it says that over 95% of the data that we had was within um, two standard deviations of the mean. But what does that actually mean? Well, that means there's quite a high standard um, deviation from the mean. And that means that the data that we had was quite spread out. 
So what does this actually mean when we look at this data set? What does it mean for Sven the Viking? He wants to go out and sit in his boat and catch fish without getting rained on. Well, we've worked out that the mean amount of days in a month that it wouldn't rain or doesn't rain is six. Um, but by looking at that data set, we can see that there was a lot of deviation from that mean. So that means that depending on the month, we might have days where it rains more. So we might have it where it's eight or nine or 12 days, but we also could get days um, where it might rain less. It's not going to stick on that six day average throughout the whole year. It could deviate either way.